I'm designing something that you don't see every day and is printing beautifully. I've been abusing my resin 3D printers to print me all sorts of different masks that I've been designing. I did not have a clear reason of why I was making them, but I was making lots of them in different colors. I printed so many of them and you rarely ever see me wear them. Is it weird that I collect my own work? Love the ZX-10R. I'm working on an expensive project with armor that I've been purchasing. Striker back armor. Why is the manual so thick for this? I bought these samurai shoulder armor things from an airsoft website. Instead of going on a tactical vest, it's going on a motorcycle vest. The suit is coming together, but let me try it on wearing my shorts. I'm lucky that they had my size, which is a 3XL. I used Midjourney AI to help me come up with inspiration for the gauntlet. I want a League of Shadows Batman vibe. I 3D scanned poorly my arm in polycam on my phone. The second attempt came out better. I saved it on my cloud as an OBJ file. Let's break out the iPad and sketch it out in Procreate. I do all my sketches in the soft pastel brush. Gauntlet looks like a stretched out hexagon. I wanted to have a Sauron, Melkor vibe, Mordor, Kaza Doom. You never know, maybe one day you'll see me working for Weta Workshop. I want spikes sticking out the side. Let's import the 3D scan of my arm and the reference and let's start sculpting it. Please don't ask in the comments, what app is this? This is Nomad Sculpt on the iPad Pro. The gauntlet starts off as a cylinder. Let's cut off the sides. I do this with a trim tool. The gauntlet is really rough. Let's turn off the 3D scan. Retopologize with voxel, roughing things in with the clay brush. I'll be using the move tool a lot to stretch things, pull things. Remember these teeth I made before? I'll move the bottom jaw to the bottom of the gauntlet. This gauntlet is hungry, ready for battle. I added in Oni mask number six that I made before. It works great because it's a two-piece mask and I rotate the top jaw. I create a design with the masking tool and I pull out. I pull out in the middle and I pull out on the bottom. Now it's not so flat and is designed. Dark areas are not affected when I mask it out. A feature that I haven't played around with a lot is the tube feature. They're essentially worms that you can wiggle and squiggle. We can even plump them up. With the donut tool, I create the blades that will be sticking out from it. They're used for defense and offense. I only create one of them and I duplicate them and rearrange them around the gauntlet. With the clay tool, I start working on the tiny areas to add some details. We'll tuck in the horns like a rhinoceros. In case you're wondering, I'm keeping everything gray because if I have less things coming in, like color and stuff, I'm less distracted and I can stay focused and concentrate better. Now I need to create the shell. I duplicate the object and then size it down and this will be the negative space, the boolean, and I voxel merge it to get that done. I trim away the parts that did not get cut away. The inside is just as detailed as the outside of the gauntlet. Let's slice some holes in here for some ventilation. Holes for the straps. After a few more minutes of adding details, let's try it on. I turn back on the 3D scan of my arm and it looks awesome. It needs a lot of refinement, but I'm impatient and I want to create a prototype ASAP and try it on. With 3D printing or anything 3D, I always stick with centimeters or millimeters. I'm in America and I don't know why we use feet and inches. It doesn't make sense. I ran into a situation here. The gauntlet is way too big for my printer. With this amount of frustration, I usually just scrap the whole project, but I sized it down a little bit and I'm going to print it anyways to see if I run into any issues. My masks are usually around 3,000 layers. This gauntlet is going to be about 4,800 layers. Resin is very expensive, but Lotto Max sent me a huge case of it. I printed one thing with this so far. It was a flower pot and it came out amazing. Super, super, super smooth. They didn't ask me to make any videos or nothing about it. They just wanted me to try it and tell them what I thought about it. Other brands are kind of lazy with their packaging, but here they made sure everything was like airtight. This print is going to take about 15 hours, 6 minutes, 21 seconds. The vat on this printer fits two whole bottles and some. This is an 8K resin resolution printer, next to it is a 12k resolution printer, so I moved it. So the printer is sort of lopsided, and because of the uneven surface, as it was printing, the middle supports didn't happen. I'm limited by size, so I have to go back to the design and print it in multiple pieces. It's still printing as we speak, but I have to do a better job at supporting the teeth. I'll show you when it's done. 